If you're a fan of scary games, this next one is for you. So the original plan for today was just a normal FNAF news video. You know, we got some previews for the Puppet Corver, we got that new Jacko Chica, Curse of Dreadbear plushie that was leaked. Uh, but no, as it turns out, there was a huge announcement involving the up-and-coming FNAF game Security Breach. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we're here today to talk about. But first, I got just a small piece of news that was actually gonna be in the FNAF news video, but I guess I'll throw it in here. FNAF Security Breach now has a page on the official PlayStation website. It's the same thing that we saw on the PlayStation app, but it now has a higher resolution version of the main hub in the Pizza Plex. So there's that, just a small piece of security breach news before we hop into the, you know, the big news, which I'm gonna talk about right frickin' now. So it was revealed not too long ago that the Summer Games Fest 2021 being hosted by your boy Jeff Keighley is returning. It's coming back this year and it starts June 10th, Thursday, with a big live kickoff. And of course, you can't have a Summer Games Fest without a couple of games. And so they released a less than one minute trailer showing off a couple games that are gonna be in the event. And of course, you got your big boys, you got your Resident Evil Village, your League of Legends, Fortnite, Halo, and thrown into the mix two seconds into the clip, Security Breach is featured. So there you have it, boys. Summer Games Fest 2021 is going to have Security Breach in it. And again, alongside these incredible games like Far Cry, GTA, Genshin Impact, Life is Strange, Overwatch, like there are so many freaking huge games, and then there's FNAF. Like it really is insane just how far this franchise has come, but of course, we can't hop on that too much because we got to talk about what's going to be featured. Going to the website offers a bit more information, a description, a rough schedule. This June, the video game industry unites to preview what's next. Starting with a spectacular kickoff live show hosted by Jeff Keighley on Thursday, June 10th. Keep checking back as events are added to the calendar. Everything can be streamed for free, no badges needed. Get ready for the big news. Summer Game Fest kicks off June 10th with a spectacular showcase event, followed by updates from the industry's leading publishers. And as you can see, this is the rough schedule on June 10th at 10 a.m. PT, 2 p.m. ET. Kickoff Live, Jeff Keighley hosts a spectacular live world premiere showcase with a performance by Weezer, Day of the Devs, and more. On June 12th, you got the Ubisoft Forward. June 16th, you got Steam Next Fest. And July 22nd, the EA Play Live. I don't think these have anything to do with Summer Game Fest. I believe what we are looking forward to, you know, FNAF fans looking for Security Breach somewhere in, in this, you know, Games Fest. I'm pretty sure all that will be happening on June the 10th starting at 2 p.m. ET. And to just get a scale of the amount of people involved, the amount of teams involved, have a look at this. These are all of the partners. As you can see, Blizzard, Capcom, Epic Games, Innersloth, Riot Games, PlayStation, Ubisoft, Xbox, Steam, 2K, EA, Frontier, Gearbox, freaking Sega. You know, there's so many amazing teams being featured. And the fact that FNAF is there is absolutely insane. And without further ado, I would like to state that I have no clue what's gonna be featured. Let's go. So everything from this point onward is going to be my guess, my estimate, don't take this as fact. Okay, so as for Security Breach itself, there was no confirmation that we're getting a brand new trailer. I personally, think we will because the last one we got was the gameplay trailer back in February and when this event goes live it'll be about three four months since that gameplay trailer so I hope we can get a brand new trailer even if it's panning shots I know a lot of people don't like the panning shots but it is brand new looks at the game you know brand new looks at the locations I don't know if we'll see a brand new gameplay trailer like again the one we got back in February but I do think we're gonna get something this is such a big event and for Steel World to just you know, not do anything, you know, oh, here's a trailer that we released like three, four months ago. I think that is bad marketing. I do think we're getting something new. As for the release date, I think a lot of people are hyping themselves up too much about the possibility of a revealed release date. I don't think we're gonna get one. I mean, it's it's possible, but the game just got delayed again, and if it's not getting released until late this year, and we're getting it in June, I don't know. That just doesn't add up for me. Again, I know there's a possibility we could get it, but I just don't think we will. Because think about it, right? Let's say it comes out October, November, December, because that's kind of late this year, and we get it in June, 
that's a lot of months we still have to wait. So I think it's more likely we'll get it maybe in August for the anniversary of FNAF, maybe September, I don't know. I just think announcing it right now in June when it comes out late this year is a bit too soon, but again, there is a possibility. I also think the presence of Security Breach in the Summer Games Fest 2021 uh, kind of deconfirms it appearing at E3. I know a lot of people want it to appear in E3, but, and I'm sure you guys will correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think PlayStation's at E3 this year. I mean, these events are happening at basically the exact same time. Summer Game Fest on the 10th and E3 on the 12th. And if we get a trailer on the 10th, a trailer on the 12th, that's too soon. I suppose there is that possibility that it is shown, but since PlayStation's not at E3, I don't think it will be. I think if it is there, absolute best possibility, the best outcome, it's there, and we get reused, you know, trailers and teasers footage. I don't think we'll get anything at E3. I don't think it's gonna be at E3. Mainly because, again, number one, PlayStation's not at E3 this year, and number two, the Summer Games Fest is giving us brand new Security Breach content two days before E3. And that's kind of everything we have to go off of. Again, there's no confirmation that we're getting a new trailer at the Summer Games Fest. I do think we are, though. Hopefully, still we'll make some sort of tweet once we get closer to the date saying, hey, this is what you're gonna expect because it seems like they're doing that a lot recently because people are getting really really hyped up for something and then we get maybe not the coolest of new things and then everyone gets upset so i do think it's in steel best interest to tell us beforehand hey you're getting a new trailer or hey it's just more panning shots of locations or they won't say anything they can't say anything i don't know but yeah june 10th we get brand new security breach content let's go so that's it for the video a normal fnaf news video will be releasing very soon so stay on the lookout for that subscribe if you haven't already hit the like button thanks for watching and i'll see you all on the flip side goodbye Psst. Hey, guys, listen, we're almost at the 10 minute mark. We gotta get there. I'm actually gonna use this time wisely and I'm gonna tell you guys about some up and coming videos for the channel. So based off of the pop-up teaser in game and also their tweet a little bit ago, it seems like tomorrow FNAF Arrow is releasing a water themed foxy skin. And then like I said, FNAF news video, I will get that FNAF plus video news video out very soon. I do want to hop into FNAF Arrow again because I want to check out more of the gameplay update, talk a bit more about it because I really didn't get to do a whole lot i think i did like one actual bonnie fight besides the tutorial and that was it so hopefully you guys can look forward to videos coming soon i'm back i'm ready to get uploading again i'm sorry for like my one week hiatus i left because i'm bad at youtube also follow me on twitch and Twitter, follow my second channel, Johnny Blocks Live, my dedicated news channel, Johnny Block Shorts. I'm gonna be uploading on there very soon. Alright, bye bye.